All right, let's go ahead and begin. Happy Friday, everybody. Glad to have you here. We made it to the end of the week. Congratulations. Let's start by getting centered. Please sit comfortably in your chair and have both feet flat on the floor. And you can either sit up tall in your chair if you'd like to, or you can relax to the back of your chair if you'd like to. Just settle in for just another minute or so, and we'll go on inward. So allowing your eyes to close, feeling your shoulders relax down your back. Hmm. We're gonna allow ourselves to really step into this moment, really being aware of your body here, as if you were being aware of it for the first time, the sensation of your feet on the floor, your seat in the chair, your hands resting in your lap, your arms resting against the sides of your body, your tongue resting in your mouth, the lips meeting, the points where the eyelids touch. Then all of the sensation inside of the body. Maybe you're noticing points of tension. Maybe it feels good just to sit still here for a few moments. Maybe both, maybe neither. Just notice what's true for you in this moment. And feeling your breath moving in your body as well, that gentle pulsing. Air in, air out. And just remind yourself that for the next 30 minutes or so that we have together, we don't have to think about anything else but being here. Anything on your to-do list can stay there for now. Anything that happened before you got here can stay in the past for now. And anytime you find your mind drifting into the needs to do or just happens, just allow those thoughts to dissolve or set back for now and let yourself just be here in the present moment. So with that intention, take a deeper, fuller breath and in your own way, allow yourself to come back to the room. <sighs> that opening centering, I recommend doing that like as often as you possibly can, especially if you're starting to feel anxious or stressed out or even depressed. Um, it's just a mindfulness meditation, stepping into your body, becoming aware of the breath, and then giving yourself permission to not really have to worry about things as much as possible. So to begin our physical practice, sit on the edge of your chair, and have your feet about hip distance apart, knees hip distance apart, heels stacking underneath the knees, and relax your arms down by your side. We'll begin with some dynamic twisting. So with your next inhale, reach your arms all the way overhead, and then with your uh, exhale, take your right arm forward, take your left arm behind you, twist, looking behind you. And then inhale, lift the arms back up, come back to center, and we'll go the other way. Take your left arm forward, your right arm back and twist. Inhale, lift back up. Exhale, go the first direction. Inhale, back up. And then exhale, go the second direction. And let's just keep moving on your breath. Inhale, lifting the arms up. Exhale, twisting, just alternating which direction you're headed. And as you're reaching up with those big inhales, you wanna feel length in the spine. There's this extension that's happening in the spine along the sides of the body, the arms, the shoulders. And with that deep exhale, you twist, take the back shoulder back further, the navel pulling into the spine and twisting with you. Keep moving. We're gonna go for just a little bit longer. Warming up the spine, the shoulders, the back, the neck too, the head is moving with you. And this being our first movement, you might really be aware of where you're holding tension, where you might feel some gripping in the body. Let's get awareness. 
kind of lets you know where to go from here. All right, let's just do a couple of more. I know we're going for a while here, but this is a great way to warm up pretty much everything from the waist up. <laughs> All right, go ahead and lift the arms up, inhale. Stay seated forward and release your arms on down. Feel sensation, maybe it's some burning or warmth in the shoulders and arms. Maybe you feel some extension still in the sides of the body. Maybe you're very aware of your spine. Maybe it's the neck. Good. And then we'll move into our next practice. You're gonna keep the heels and the knees and the hips, same, same uh, position <laughs> and your arms by your side to start. With your inhale, you'll lift the arms overhead again. And exhale, think about hinging at your hips, lead with the chest as you fold all the way down over the thighs. And then inhale, reverse that movement, sweep the arms out to the side, feel your back engaged to lift you all the way back up. Good, let's do that again. Exhale, just kind of swan dive over the legs. Then inhale, reverse swan dive, coming all the way back up. Good, we're just gonna keep going. Exhale, fold forward. Coming up, take the arms out to the side first, so you have to use the muscles of the back and core to lift back up. Keep going. Moving with your breath, allowing the inhale to help lift you up, allowing that exhale to settle you down onto the thighs. We're just gonna do a couple more. All right, inhale, lift yourself all the way up. Stay seated tall and release the arms down. Again, feel sensation, always checking in with what's going on, that moment-to-moment -moment awareness. Good. And then we're gonna do a little bit more work for, for your lower back and for your core as well. So it's kind of a different variation of what we've just done. So take your arms overhead and then relax the shoulders down. You're gonna feel your spine lifting. Good, take a deep breath in. With your exhale, hinge at the hips and bring yourself halfway forward. So you're not resting the chest on the thighs per se, you're still levitating a little bit here. And then use the muscles of the back to lift yourself all the way back up. Good, let's do that again. Exhale, folding halfway. Inhale, bring yourself back up. We're gonna do about three more. Exhale, fold. Try to keep the arms up by your ears. Inhale, back up, two more. Good, now on this last round, arms up by the ears, come halfway forward. And the chest is hovering just a little bit up off the thighs. Back is engaged, shoulders are engaged. You're probably feeling some heat here, maybe some shaking. That's okay, just breathe. <laughs> Three, two, and one, come back up and release the arms on down. Take a breath or two here. Hmm. Getting the body nice and warmed up today. All right, this next one is a, a shaking exercise. <laughs> Only do it as vigorously as you feel like you can today, but it's a great way to release tension. A lot of animals, for example, when they are stressed out, anxious or scared, they shake a bit and it just helps to diffuse a lot of that, that nervous system energy. And so we'll start with the arms down and you'll start to wiggle your fingers. Now notice when you wiggle the fingers, if your breath changed, maybe it stopped altogether. Try to calm that down, try to breathe normally. Then allow your wrists to start moving around a bit, kind of flicking motion with the wrists. If there's something on the tip of your finger that you're just trying to get off. Again, check in with your breath. If it changed, change it back. <laughs> Good. And you're gonna let the movement kind of move up into your arms and elbows. Again, there's like this flicking motion happening with the hand. 
the residual motion of it comes all the way up into your arms. Your arms kind of like, kind of like tentacles. <laughs> shake, shake, shake. You're gonna take the arms out to the side a bit more. Just loosely flicking, just loosely shaking. Deep breaths here. I'm gonna have you keep going, keep flicking, keep moving the arms around, especially when you start to feel fatigued and tired. That's where we start to create change, both in the nervous system, but also in your biology. <laughs> keep going, keep shaking, keep breathing. We're gonna go for about 15 more seconds. Feel the burn. <laughs> shake, 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 breathe, breathe, breathe. Three, two, and one. Relax the arms down. <laughs> Feeling sensation. There might be some tingling in the hands and arms. There might be some burning or warmth in the shoulders. Notice your heart rate, your breath rate. And you also might notice how you feel kind of more on an energetic level, where if you were tired before, you might feel a bit more awake now, or if you're feeling like kind of just put it on a binary, sadder before, you might feel a little bit more happy or awake or joyful. Um, I, tend, I, find, I tend to find that when I do that, when I'm feeling like in a funk, like I can't get out of a funk, and I do that for like a good minute or two, my mood switches around pretty much instantly. So there's that if you need it. <laughs> All right, let's do some shoulder rolls. So go ahead and shrug your shoulders up towards your ears, take them back behind you and relax them down. And then shrug forward, up, back, and down. Forward, up, back, and down. One more time, forward, up, back, and down. Now become aware of your right shoulder. We're, just, we're only going to move the right shoulder. Forward, up, back, and down. Forward, up, back, and down, forward, up, back, and down. Keep going right shoulder. You might tilt your left ear towards your left shoulder, giving you a bit more space on this right side. So it's not just a shoulder roll, you're actually feeling some stretch happening in and around your neck on the right side. Forward, up back and down, forward, up, back, down last time. And then relax down, bring the head to center. And you'll probably starkly notice the difference between the two sides. And don't worry, we'll do the other side. <laughs> so allow that right shoulder just to relax here, become aware of your left shoulder, and then draw it forward, up, back, and down, forward, up, back and down, forward, up, back and down. Keep going. As I'm watching myself on the camera right now, it's like, this looks like we're in the thriller video. <laughs> oh, always a good one. Need to watch that one again. Forward, up, back and down. Now, again, if you want to, you can take this, in this case, it'd be the right ear towards your right shoulder, creating some space on the left side of your neck. Forward, up, back, down, forward, up, back, down. Keep breathing here. Yeah, let's do one more. And as the shoulder relaxes down, bring the head back to center. Good. So we're kind of doing backstrokes there with our shoulders, forward, up, back, and down. Now we're gonna go in the other direction. So we'll do both shoulders first. Just take both shoulders back, opening the chest, and then shrug up, shoulders to ears, then take them forward, then down. Back, up, forward, down. Back, up, forward, down. Keep going, back, up, forward, down. Breathe. Good, we'll do two more rotations with both shoulders. 
And the next time they relax down, go ahead and stay. And then again, become aware of your right shoulder. Good. Now we're gonna do the forward stroke this time. So we're gonna go back first, up, forward, down, back, up, forward, down, back, up, forward, down, left ear to left shoulder. Keep rolling that right shoulder around. Taking the shoulder back, up, forward, and down. Releasing that tension. So much tension builds up in the neck here. So much tension builds up in the shoulders here as well. Send a deep breath to that tension, ask it to release. Good, one more rotation. And as that right shoulder relaxes, bring the head to center. And then we'll do the other side. Left shoulder, take it back, up, forward, down, back, up, forward, down. Right ear to right shoulder, up, forward, down, back, up, forward, down. Keep going, just rolling around. Shoulder going back and up, forward and down, back up, forward, down. Breathe, especially if you're feeling tension here, especially if you're feeling some discomfort here. Deep breaths. Good, just a couple more rotations. And then as the shoulder comes to neutral, go ahead and bring the head up to center. Good, all right. So noticing sensation in the shoulders. And then we'll move along. This is one of my favorite ones we'll do next. I think we've done it quite a bit in the last several weeks, but it's always a good one. You're gonna have to take your feet a little bit wider apart now. And my knees just slightly wider than my shoulders, heel stacking underneath the knees. So if I lean from side to side or forward, I don't fall over, ideally. So you're gonna take your hands onto your thighs or knees here. We'll take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, just fold forward as far as you can. And then at the furthest point, release your neck. So the chin drops toward your throat. The crown of the head starts to drop toward the floor. You start to feel a stretch in the back of your neck. Now, if you want to here, you can start just shaking your head from side to side. You can start nodding your head as well. Whatever feels good, just move the head around a bit. Just coaxing that tension out of the neck, out of the shoulders. You can imagine it just kind of washing off onto the floor or shaking off onto the floor. Make sure your jaw is soft, no clenching here. Same with your eyes. There's no wrong way to do this. Just move the head around in a way that feels good. Okay, just a couple more <laughs> breaths. Good. Now, before we come up, stop moving the head. Allow your eyes to open and just focus on one single point for a moment. Just allow any vertigo to settle. And then press your hands into your thighs or knees and bring yourself back up. Focus the eyes to a single point again, just allowing any dizziness to subside. All right, continuing on. What's next on my notes? We're gonna do some spinal flexes next. We haven't done any spinal flexes yet today. So hands can just stay on the thighs, keep the knees apart. With your inhale, take the shoulders together at the back, open your chest toward the ceiling. 
And then exhale around the back, look down, feel the shoulder blades widening at your upper back. And then inhale, open back up again. And exhale around the back again. And we'll just keep moving in this way a couple more times. Inhale, opening up, exhale, rounding, keeping the lower back steady, meaning that we're not back bending with our lower back. Everything's happening from the mid back up. Good, twice more. Good, then inhale, come to a neutral spine. Feel that sensation in the upper back and in your chest. And then we'll do a little bit more work with the spine itself. So you're gonna keep the knees and feet apart. And I'll just show you how to do this once or twice before we do it together. I'm gonna to take a deep breath in. I'm gonna feel the chest lift slightly. And then leading with the chest, I'm gonna fold about halfway forward. And I can press my hands to my thighs here to roll my spine up a single vertebrae at a time and the chin lifts at the top. So that was very slow. <laughs> a more fluid movement looks like this. I'm gonna exhale, fold forward, and then inhale, roll up a vertebrae at a time, and then exhale, fold forward, and then inhale, roll back up. All right, so go ahead and join me. We'll take a deep breath in to start, and then exhale, fold forward, Inhale, roll up. Every vertebrae get involved there. Exhale, fold forward again. And just keep going on your breath. Inhale, lifting. Exhale, folding. Trying to articulate in the spine as much as you can. Exhale, folding. Inhale, snaking the spine up. It's a great metaphor for this one. It's kind of a snake, just kind of rolling on up. <laughs> Exhale, fold. We'll do just a few more. Last one. And then inhale, snake yourself all the way up and feel sensation once again. That steady movement of folding and lifting, folding and lifting is really soothing to the nervous system. So you actually might kind of feel a little bit kind of buzzed right now <laughs> after doing that a few times. Good. So now I'm going to ask you to bring your feet a bit closer together. So knees are hip width apart, heel stacking under. It's our close leg stance. And you're gonna bring your right hand to the outside of your left thigh. So right hand to the outside of the left thigh. And then with your left arm, inhale, go ahead and lift it into the air. Good, feel length in the spine. And then there's gonna be a couple things that happen next. You're gonna take your left hand, the one on the air, and you're gonna to lean to the right. Good, now once you've made that connection, once you're leaning to the right, you're gonna pull on your left thigh with the right hand to draw your right chest more toward the center line of your body. So you're twisting, you're extending, and you're stretching the laterals on the left side. And your chin can just look left and breathe. Good, then go ahead and unwind and release that left arm down. And let's do the other side. So starting off, take the left hand to the outside of the right leg, then lift the right arm into the air. Good, feel length in the spine first, extending upward. And then go ahead and lean to the left. Taking a breath here. And then with your left hand, pull on your right thigh and draw your left chest more toward the center line of your body, twisting as you lean. And breathe, looking to the right. Good. 
one more breath here. And then inhale, come back up, unwind. Hmm. All right, so for our last posture today, we're just gonna fold over our thighs. So take a deep breath in and exhale, just fold down over. Hands can stay on the legs. You can also hang your hands toward the floor. And we'll take about three to four deep breaths here, feeling the belly and the chest compressing toward the legs. Last breath here. And then inhale, roll yourself on up. Good, great job. So now we're gonna spend the last few minutes we have together in meditation. So go ahead and slide to the back of your chair and be comfortable. You can relax to the back of your chair. You could sit up tall, whatever you feel like doing. But do relax as much as possible here. And bring your awareness to the feeling of your breath in your nostrils. It might feel cooler as you inhale and warmer as you exhale. You might feel like one of the nostrils is partially blocked. And that's okay. We don't need to worry about that right now. And just for a couple of minutes, we're gonna imagine that we're inhaling and exhaling through alternating nostrils. So we know the breath is moving through both. We'll just imagine it's moving through one. So with your next inhale, see or sense the breath moving through your left nostril. Inhale, left nostril. Then exhale, right nostril. Then inhale, sense the breath inhaling through the right nostril. And exhale, left. Inhale, left. Exhale, right. Inhale, right nostril. And exhale, left nostril. In, left. Out, right. In, right. And out, left. In, left. Exhale, right. In, right. And out, left. In left, out right, in right, and out left. A couple more times, in left, out right, in right, out left, in left, out right, in right, and out left. Sense the breath moving simultaneously in both nostrils, inhale and exhale. And then go ahead and take a deeper, fuller breath. Bring your palms together in front of you and rub the palms together, stimulating them. And take the heated palms over your eyes, brushing back over the top of your head, down your neck, gently bringing yourself back to the space around you. Thank you so much for joining today. I hope that was helpful for you. I hope you have a great weekend and I look forward to seeing you again next time. Take care.